Death in the Spires is a gothic romance by K.J. Charles set in the remote town of Rothwell, known for its towering cathedral, the Spires. The story centers around Archibald Canning, the stern and reclusive archdeacon of the Spies, and Lucian Carstairs, an unconventional artist with a scandalous past. Archie, the archdeacon, is haunted by his deeply traumatic past and the death of his abusive father. He is committed to his church and his God, often pushing people away with his rigid adherence to rules and his cold demeanor. His life is structured and orderly, with little room for anything that might disturb the tranquility he so desperately clings to. However, everything changes when Lucian arrives in Rothwell. Lucian, known for his flamboyant nature and controversial paintings, is instantly drawn to the imposing architecture of the spires and Archie's enigmatic persona. He has been commissioned to paint a mural in the town hall and makes it his mission to unravel the mystery behind Archie's brusque exterior. His arrival stirs up the town's status quo as residents are both fascinated and scandalized by his presence. As Lucian becomes more entangled in Rothwell's affairs and Archie's life, strange occurrences begin to happen in the cathedral. Archie is confronted by shadows in the night and a sense of unease that he cannot shake. When a spate of murders rocks the community, suspicion falls on Lucian due to his mysterious background and provocative behavior. Archie is torn between his growing feelings towards Lucian and his duty to protect his congregation from possible harm. Despite the community's distrust, Lucian and Archie must work together to solve the murders. As they navigate the dangerous waters of their investigation and their burgeoning relationship, they uncover dark secrets about Rothwell's past and the true nature of the evil that has taken root in the town. During their inquiry, Archie confronts the demons of his own history, and Lucian battles societal rejection and his self-destructive tendencies. Their sleuthing leads them to discover a conspiracy within the church itself. They find that several high-ranking members, including the revered bishop, were involved in a plot to use the spires as a front for illegal and immoral activities. The culprits had gone to great lengths to keep their secrets hidden, resorting even to murder to silence those who might reveal the truth. As the plot starts to unravel, Archie and Lucian's relationship deepens. Archie begins to accept his desires for Lucian, allowing himself to explore love and passion for the first time since his traumatic upbringing. Lucian, in turn, finds in Archie a safe harbor from his tumultuous life and a partner who challenges him to be more than the rogue the world perceives him to be. Their love story is one of mutual healing, acceptance, and defiance in the face of a community that seeks to repress them. In the climax of the story, a confrontation in the spires during a storm brings the murderer to light. The culprit is revealed to be one of Archie's closest allies, someone who had manipulated him throughout his life. The betrayal cuts deep, but with Lucian's help, Archie is able to overpower his adversary. The battle leaves the cathedral partially destroyed, a fitting symbol of the old foundations of Archie's life crumbling under the weight of truth. Once the threat is dealt with, Archie and Lucian face the aftermath of the scandal. With their relationship now public, they must navigate the disdain of those who condemn them and the support of those who have longed for change in Rothwell. The church hierarchy, shaken by the events, is forced to reevaluate its policies and its leaders. Through this turmoil, Archie finds the strength to step down from his position, no longer feeling bound to an institution that harbored such corruption. In the end, Archie and Lucian decide to leave Rothwell behind, seeking a new beginning where they can live life on their own terms. They've come to understand that home isn't necessarily tied to a place, but can be where love and acceptance are found. As they leave the shadows of the spires and the events that transpired there, they look forward to a future filled with possibility and the freedom to truly be themselves. Death in the Spires is a tale of love, redemption, and the courage to confront and overcome the darkness of the past. It paints a vivid picture of two damaged individuals finding solace in each other while solving a gripping mystery that shakes the very foundations of their world. K.J. Charles masterfully blends romance, suspense, and gothic atmosphere to create a story that leaves readers captivated from the first page to the last. 
You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.